I mean, this is an amazing performance, first of all, just incredible transformation. And I know that you kind of pursued the role. Did you, were you ever sort of intimidated or did you kind of always know that you could do it? You, you never know anything. I don't think you ever achieve a, a perfection in something, but um, I just knew that when I read the script, the story and was so different to what I expected. I thought it was gonna be a Stephen Hawking biopic and it felt like a intricate and detailed love story, complicated love story. You wanna try to keep pushing the edges of what you can do. So when I applied for the job, it, it wasn't, you do that thing of persuading your employers that you think you're really confident and you know what you're doing, but actually you don't have a clue. <laughs> so it was one of those. So then the crushing reality kicked in after I got the job. I mean, in terms of the physical transformation, I imagine there must have been a huge amount of training involved for that. What was the sort of physical process of getting into well, the... Well, the interesting thing with, with making films is you have to create the process yourself. Do you see what I mean? It's, I, it's one of those things where you sort of wish that on stage, perhaps more so you go and there's a, you know, everyone goes about it the same way under a director's guise. But, but, but normally in film, you you have to do it sort of that preparation, those months of preparation in a bit of a vacuum um, under the guidance of James. But um, so I went about it in a kind of old school way and decided to work with um, a dancer to, because I knew that the physicality would be important, but that the, 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 I wanted to make sure that the physicality was um, not the thing. I didn't want this to be a film. For, for Stephen, the disease is entirely secondary, and similarly, this story doesn't feel like it's a story about a disease. It's about a, it's a human story. It's a love story. So I worked with a dancer who helped me um, find the progression. And I know, obviously, Benedict Cumberbatch famously played the role, I think, 10 years ago. And yeah. Did you guys kind of compare notes at all? We, we have subsequently talked about, um, I saw him recently, and he's an old pal, and I, I did have to make a choice. Actually, the director of his version of Hawking was directed Birdsong as well, a guy called Philip Martin, who's a, a lovely man. And I had to make a long uh, decision about whether to watch it or not before filming. And I decided against it purely because I know myself and I know I'm a thief. And that if I'd seen Ben do brilliant things, I would have tried to steal them. Um, but, uh, but we have subsequently talked about our experience as, of meeting Stephen and what that was like. And it's so lovely to be able to share that with the pals. Did you film chronologically? Because I was wondering, in terms of the progression of symptoms and things like that, did you...? Unfortunately not, no. Okay. Um, it's, it's kind of, it's, I think it's like incredibly rare nowadays, but, but economically to, to film chronologically, mm. unless you're boyhood, um, which <laughs> is amazing. Um, but uh, so no, I knew from the outset, I think James, our director, did try for a moment to see if we could, but uh, I knew from the outset that that was probably gonna be impossible. So it was interesting, because that became part of the process as well, was not just learning how to play these physicalities, but also being uh, learning to be able to access them quite quickly, because within the same day, you'd be, Felicity and I would be playing Stephen and Jane at different ages, different times. So did you have a kind of timeline in your head? Did you have charts? No, it ended up being quite a rigorous chart. Yeah, I think it was a pretty sort of embarrassingly sort of nerdy document, which was, you know, each muscle and when it stopped working. And I remember as well, like which pair of glasses he was wearing and which, you know, which chip, whether he was on one stick or two stick and which, one of the most complicated things actually was he had, we had two, three different wheelchairs in the film and two of them are electrically maneuvered and one of them was back wheel drive and one of them was front, four wheel drive, uh, front wheel drive, sorry, and learning to, because you can't move anything, but you're using your, these fingers, which again, your hand can't move to, to hit the marks on the, using the, the different types of wheelchair was yeah. a random bit of miscellany for you. That was quite complicated. I bet it, it was, took yeah. took me a while. <laughs> My next question was going to be, what was the biggest challenge? That was it? genuinely one of them. It was, uh, I know it sounds so silly, but it was because your instinct is to, to get that right, but actually you're having to make sure all of this is completely immobile or mobile in its staticness.